This is uh, also a very good place for locked crates. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh my goodness. Oh boy, okay, now we're really going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting with our inventory. Alright guys, we are under attack, I think by rogues, because there was a camp over here. Yeah, uh, so these are just rogues here. Uh, let's take one of these just to be safe. I was coming over here to try and sneak over the rock to see if I could tell if it was a, the third hunter camp or just rogues. And it uh, looks like it's just rogues. Also, uh, we now have uh, the helmet now too. So I have made that because uh, I just found that one more piece of cloth that we needed. And so yeah, we got that done. I saw these guys uh, camp over here at nighttime, and I wanted to come over to see if it was the other hunter group or if it was just rogue. So that's not bad stuff actually, all things considered. And let's see what this one has. Okay, yeah, not terrible. Not super great, but not terrible either. So yeah, this is just another rogue camp. It's not another hunter camp. Um, where is their fire at? Might be around this way. Just want to see if they have any food on it we can steal, or ash even, or fertilizer. I don't want to actually see it though. It's not, not going to be burning because of the rain. Okay, well, not a big deal. Anyway, yeah, we're so uh, it's the next day. We're out and about. Uh, I made myself another lockpick, as you can see, as I already told you, we uh, made the helmet, so we have that. I feel much more uh, comfortable, com well, I don't know if comfortable is a word, <laughs> feel a little bit better that we have that now, because uh, that's going to help with our survivability quite a bit when we get in fights with these dudes. And so we're just out and about uh, doing the usual looting, and hopefully we can find another locked crate and continue progressing here in uh, subsistence. Okay, we got a wolf right over the edge of the hill here. Let's see if we can nab this before we aggro him. Okay, I think we got that all right. Two, two crates right next to each other down there. Oh shit, we got a wolf somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there he is, right up on the rock. It's the same damn wolf. All right, well, screw him. Let's see what's in these two crates. Man, this is a good day for strawberries. Level one wolf, let's take him out. Two 
two livers. Very nice. We have enough kelp back at the house to make another uh, antidote, and that'll give us three antidotes. We've been very fortunate so far in this playthrough to avoid infection, but it's going to happen sooner or later. And a bunny. Oh. All right. Uh, let's get rid of that and get the rabbit. We are full. All right. Let me t see where I'm at here. We need to get back to uh, or over to this pond to wash off before we get infected. So let's work our way that direction. Um avoiding those bears of course and then I need to take a look at my inventory and see if we can free up a little bit of space another rabbit I want that rabbit for the cloth that's not a rabbit well that's the rabbit and we missed. Let's get our arrow. At least it didn't break. Okay, so uh, we got a chicken here. Why don't we uh, turn this into twine or cordage rather? Why don't we? We we can stand to eat. So let's just eat these four blueberries. And we're going to kill and butcher him so we can pick up this one and kill and butcher or just butcher to free up that space and let's also butcher the rabbit for the same reason because if I can still find that other rabbit or a new one um, then we can butcher him too and then we'll be good okay let's get to the let's get to the pond first oh man there's a deer so if we kill the deer right now then we're gonna also have to find room for the antlers I mean, we have room for them right now, I guess. Should we try and kill that thing right now? Nice shooting there, pal. It's terrible shooting. Alright, well, forget about the deer. Let's just get to the water before we get infected. This is uh, also a very good place for locked crates. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh my goodness. Oh boy, okay, now we're really going to have to have a come to Jesus meeting with our inventory. Let's get washed off first. I mean, how funny is that, man? I was just saying that and then boom, it pops up. But seriously, those really is a good place for locked crates. The Central Valley is what this place is called. Or just the valley, some people call it that. Oh my goodness. All right. What what the hell are we going to do? Um Um I don't know. Honestly. Okay, let's turn all of the wood into planks. Okay, that just freed us up a slot. This pick is almost on its way out. I normally would try and save it for the mass recycler once we make one, but we don't have one yet and we got to deal with here and now. So we can get rid of that. Um, let's see, what else could we do? I really don't want to eat the strawberries. I want to hang on to those. All right, well, let's open up the chest first. Okay, so that's unique. That's unique. That's unique. We got shotgun shells. We got bullets. We got nine mils so the, uh, and magnums. Okay, good. So that all stacks. Um, that'll stack. We got some of those. We got boards. Oh, you know what? This is actually going to work out pretty good. Look at that. We got it all. Oh, very nice. Very nice. What was this again? 
and we even have room to pick that back up. Oh, we got to get right home. <laughs> Straight home, man. No dilly-dallying. This has been one good looting day, man. I have to tell you, it really has. A really good looting day. All right, we made it home safely. Uh, we got a couple of, uh, or at least one loot crate I see out there. So let's just quickly drop off a few things uh, in here. That's good enough. And I tried to uh, loot a plant fiber because it's just a habit. And it flipped out of my inventory because I didn't have space. Okay, so we'll grab that and grab this. Look at all the stuff, man. This has probably been the best looting day I've had so far here in Season 2. Okay. Well, um, let me cut the, the trees back to the base, and then we'll kind of see where we're at here. Oh, actually, hold on. No, I need to get this meat cooking before it goes bad. Let's do that first. And more strawberries. Nice. You know, I still haven't come across any um, any tomatoes, uh, tomato seeds. Okay, we have a total of nine strawberries, so when the time comes that we can start making jam, that'll that'll help. I don't know if we need one or two for that, or three, or whatever it is, but it'll start getting us in that direction anyhow. Uh, we got 17 medicinal tonics, over 58 biofuels. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's actually take this and these right now and make another one of these. And then I think we'll cook the other liver. We can put the ores in here, and we already have enough fragments to make two more lockpicks, which is fantastic. Uh, let's pop those in there, and those can go in there. Right now, I'm mostly just... Um... A smelting iron because we don't really need any of the other stuff until we get a, a workbench going which is on the list it's not the very next thing we're gonna do though um, the very next thing we need to do is make a mass storage unit um, so that's next up as far as that goes all right let's put all this stuff back in here we have 276 nails that's amazing absolutely amazing all right, let's put the nines up there. Uh, we'll put the pearls in here. We have 22 pearls, so that's going to come in handy later. And still have 14 more medicinal tonics after making another antidote. So, uh, yeah, we are we're doing good, you guys. We are doing good. Uh, let's eat both of these, and we'll save the liver uh, for a little bit later on. We need to top off the fuel here in our fire. And we still have a little bit of usage left out of that pick. Well, actually, now nah, let's let's go ahead and retire it now. Uh, and as you can see, I saved my other pick too for when when the time comes that we do get the mass recycler. All right, that liver should be just about cooked. Yep, there it goes. Perfect. Okay, we'll save that for a little bit later. Um, let's go ahead and a drink. And I also want to check our garden. I'm gonna eat. Let's split this in half. Uh, let's eat a couple of carrots to get our carbs back up in line pretty good. And we're not in bad shape. Not in bad shape. I should make another couple more bandages, but I'm really trying to use the cloth for, you know, other things. And the garden is about three quarters of the way there, a little more than that. So that's doing well. Oh, shit, we got a hunter. Damn, that guy's tough. Oh my god, I shot him three times point blank with the rifle, and it didn't kill him. Holy shit. What the hell? What the hell, man? And... 
That's me. Oh, they're in the water. Look at that. Oh, now we got him. Oh, so maybe they do come in the water then and not just straight up spawn here. Oh, it's good to know that their bags float on the water. Oh, man, we lost some... Oh, shit, you guys. We, <laughs> we lost a lot of ammo out of that deal. Oh, wow. Three times, you guys. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video, but I'm almost damn sure I shot him three times with the rifle, and it still didn't kill him. He, you know, he had a vest on, too, and a helmet, but still, holy shit. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, damn it. We lost a bunch of ammo. I need to... You know what I actually need to do is I need to start keeping some of the ammo at home. Uh, we, you know, we're getting to the point where we can... We have a, a little bit of surplus ammo. I wouldn't say a lot, but a little bit. Um, all right, well, here, let's load this. Yeah, that's, uh, that is just, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's really disappointing. We lost some, I know we lost some rifle ammo out of that deal. Oh, well, okay, yeah, that's subsistence for you. Let's uh, actually turn that into cloth. We got some free cloth out of the deal, so there you go. Um, frick. Okay, I guess the first thing we want to do is buy a new spawn then. Yeah, so he, they actually do go in the water. That's good to know. Um, in fact, that's really good to know because if they don't just spawn here automatically and they have to swim, that uh, we could really make that work to our advantage, you know, by building some barricades around the shore and that sort of thing. Ah, okay. Well, um, that's <laughs> that sucks that we died. That's just all there is to it. But it happened, so we just have to deal with it. All right, let's put everything back in its spot. Um, yeah, I really need to start leaving some of the ammunition at home and not carrying all of it with me. I, I, I mean, we just kind of, in my defense, you know, <laughs> just kind of got to the point where we actually had enough ammo to, to say we have some spare ammo. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do though. We got a full Magnum, so let's, let's leave the rest of the Magnums there. We got a full shotgun, so let's leave the rest of those there. The arrows aren't that big a deal, and neither are the nines, because those are both of those are a lot easier to come by than the others. Uh, so I'm gonna at least leave those there, and uh, yeah, that uh, that sucks. <laughs> it really does. Okay, well, there's nothing nothing to do about it, but just keep on keeping on, right? Um, so we got some blueberries. Uh, let's eat those. Let's just eat the liver right now, because we still need some more protein. And. Uh, I'll put, uh, uh, let's go get some more water here. The good thing about all that, and we, I mean, I mean, we would have figured this out eventually anyways, right? But at least we know now that it looks like they come in the water. And he was definitely in the water, you know, the second time when we eventually did kill him. And the other th good thing to know is that if we do kill him, their bags float. So we don't have to, you know, if we happen to snipe them as they're coming across the way there in the deep water... Uh, we're not going to lose their bag, so I really like that, that idea. All right, so let's see. We've got a total of four cloth. Uh, we don't have any... Do we have any more cotton? We don't. We use all of our cotton to make our helmet. Um, but we do want to start, you know, working towards getting the heavy-duty pants and shirt and then the winter co coat and the, and the jacket, too. Um, all of that's going to be important before winter sets in completely sets in um all right well let's keep moving here so all right we got enough iron to make another thing uh we are gonna have to wait for the power to get back up because i just spent a bunch of it to create a new spawn point uh, so i guess we'll just leave that in there for now and i'm um, real good on nails we're we're really good on alloy sheets in fact yeah, we're going to need two of those for the combat vest. And then the other four we could actually start maybe upgrading our base to uh, an armored base. 
Uh, well, I'll have, to, I'll have to give that some thought. Um, we might not quite yet be ready to do that. Look at all of this stuff, man. Let's uh, let's just turn all these into into cordage. That's a lot of plant fiber there. Okay, we'll do that, and um, we have 53 planks too. I mean, we have enough to to start expanding the base some more. But like I said, I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that quite yet. I'll start doing it when I run out of room in in this part of the base so as far as what we're going to make next uh we're, we're going to make a mass storage next as soon as we you know can afford to do so um and then we'll probably make uh the workbench is is probably next up on the list uh, but i would also like to make a second plant bed too so we can get even more crops going uh refrigerator and stove uh, will be coming up as will the mass recycler and the mass fabricator um, animal housing, I'm probably going to wait just a little bit longer on that until we have a little bit more farming going on so we can sustain the critters. Okay, well, shoot, that's too bad we died, but there's there were some good things that came out of that. Um, silver linings, uh, it, we were right at the base for one thing. <laughs> we got revenge for another thing and got the guy's stuff. Uh, we learned that the hunters can go in the water and that their bags float when we kill them in the water. So that was all the good things. All the bad things, we lost a bunch of ammo. <laughs> so, uh. all right, guys. Um, I uh, built up enough power to make a new lock pick here, and I just kind of did a little bit, of lo little bit of looting around the island. I went out and set up a new animal trap over on that side this time because the one that was over there uh, dis got destroyed uh, or ran out or whatever. Um, so let's put a couple things away and then we're going to go out for another quick uh, loot run. I also killed a wolf out there too, so that's why I've got this. In fact, let's eat this now and we'll eat these three kelps. And that gets, uh, yeah, that gets our carbs pretty high up, so we'll go ahead and just run with that. And I think I'm going to drink both of these. Okay, now we're going to need this and this to make the lock pick. Oh, and, and the iron too, of course. All right, so let's make that. Um, here we go. And then I'm going to finish smelting the rest of that stuff, put all these in here. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's fill these two water canteens back up so they can be cooking while we're out and about. Okay, uh, so I think we are good to go. Let's just top off the fire. Whoops, the fire here. And uh, yeah, let's go. So um, I think I think we have enough time left in the day. That, those crops are probably just about ready. We'll check them when we get back. Uh, enough time left in the day to go over to the arch to look for another locked crate. Uh, but it is getting on in the day. Where's it? Well, I guess it's not that late. It's actually more like noonish. So we have a little more time. But we're going to head in that direction again and see if we can uh, find another locked crate. Because that's where we're getting all the good stuff. So this is where I put the new um, animal trap over here. And it's got some. Uh, uh, herb, herb, uh, med medicinal plant or whatever the hell that stuff's called <laughs> inside of it. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Got ourselves some iron ore here. Or no, this is probably potassium, isn't it? Yeah, it's potassium. Okay. I hear a bunny somewhere. I hear him, but I don't see him. We have a wolf down there. I got to thinking, too, you know, um, 
as a lot of you know, I'm I'm coming off of season one, where we were in in end game and all decked out and had upgraded weapons and that sort of thing. And I guess I'm I got to remember that I'm not I'm using the basic rifle that's not upgraded at all, and so it really shouldn't surprise me, you know, that it takes there's th two rabbits down there, that it takes three shots to um you know take them out a, a guy that's fully armored like that out. So just kind of getting used to the beginning game again here. But also, <coughs> excuse me, as I indicated in the video, that th first shot actually missed too. Um, I didn't, I couldn't tell at the time, but when I looked at the video afterwards, I saw that it missed, and you know you could see the splash in the water where the bullet hit. So we did actually kill him in three shots. I just didn't hit him the first time around like I thought I did. Mo iron. All right, we got a level one. Let's take him out. Nice. With no upgraded weapons, uh, level one wolf is one arrow and three pistol rounds, if you make them all count, that is. All right, we're going to move over towards the pond that's over this way so we can wash our hands and then uh, decide where to go from there. Another level one wolf. Okay, that is it for uh, nine mil rounds unless we get some more in here. Uh, no, but we got some rifle rounds and an arrow. I'll take that instead. We can always um, shotgun the wolves, too. Rather use the pistol on them if we can, but... There's another wolf. What level are you, buddy? You're level three. Yeah, let's leave you alone. That could kill you with a shotgun, but... Let's just leave him be for now. Okay, we got a carrot and an ammo crate. All right. Let's dive for kelp and pearls. I know the pick does it in two hits, but the tip pick also takes longer. That's slower than the axes, so it's not that much difference, really. Here's a chicken. Ah, balderdash. Yeah, we got the arrow back. All right, it's starting to get late. Um, what I think I want to do, though, is let's kill this level one wolf. Damn it. it uh, we have one nine mil round left. And then we're going to run up kind of by where our old base was because <clears throat> there's a spot not too far away from there where a lock crate would often spawn. We'll check that out before we start heading back. I don't remember exactly where that arrow went that I shot, so it's probably not worth trying to find it. would have been up in here somewhere, I think. But yeah, let's not uh, let's not waste time looking for that. Oh well, never mind. There it is. How about that? How about that? 
<clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up around here and then kind of up to the left and uh, look over there for this. Ooh. It's a level three black bear. Yeah. Let's see if we can. No, nope, he's going the wrong damn way. Yep, okay. So, here, what we're going to do is pull him around this way. Yeah, whatever, chicken. I got wolf meat. I'm not worried about you. I got plenty of feathers for the time being, too. Still want to get rabbits, though, for the cloth. Uh, Level 2 wolf and a rabbit. All right, let's just see where that rabbit runs off to. Okay, he kind of went over and around the other direction. Okay, let's run up here. So kind of right in this area, um, a locked crate would frequently spawn when I lived around here. Level two grizzly. There's a normal crate. All right, let's hit this grub tree. All right, I think we're gonna grab this guy and then we need to head back. We definitely won't make it back before dark, but as long as we're well on our way, we should be fine. And I didn't, we didn't find the locked crate this time. That's okay though. Well, here's a rabbit, but he's running towards the bear and the wolf, of course. Of course he is. All right, you guys. Well, I think it's about time to wrap up this episode. Uh, overall, it was a pretty damn good episode, really. Uh, it sucks that we got killed. But, you know, it happens, right? It happens. And uh, that death could have been a lot worse than it was. Uh, but I think we... We made out pretty good overall today for sure. So I'm not I'm not complaining, man. I'm not complaining. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys go here. And then I'm probably going to spend another uh, bit of time off camera just continuing to loot. And uh, I will bring you guys back at some point with an update on where we are. Particularly, you know, if we get another attack or get it back into combat or something like that. Or, you know, find another lock crate or whatever. So... Anyway, that is it for this episode. Guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.